So with the AMD 2200G, I'm taking out the single 8 gig and putting in two fours. The two different brands, Corsair and Kingston, both 2400. <laughs> As we load up Lost Coast, down the bottom left hand corner we've got the frame rate, but more accurately we'll also see it at the very end. On the left is the single stick, on the right is the two 4 gigs. Now, our single channel side on the left hand side got 148 FPS, while the dual channel side got 226, which is a nice healthy improvement. Now from here, I've switched over to CSGO. And this game also featured a very healthy also running on source cards, so that's plenty of speed and they'll work better. And as you can see that one on the left hand corner, near where the health and the armor is. On the left hand side, running on cobble or playing D cobble, getting around 40 frames uh, on the left, no extra RAM, it's merely a new channel. And finally after this one, I've put on their PUBG. I would have put Fortnite on there, but time restraints haven't bothered. PUBG has already got that. Bring it up. Personally I've played a few hours of PUBG, or probably 20 plus. Overall I'm not quite a fan of it. I find that they haven't really optimized it as well as they could have or should have. So these are two different levels here but both similar. On the left hand side getting around 18 FPS, on the right averaging about 22. So not a great deal of difference. Percentage wise, yeah percentage wise it's a decent amount but actual gameplay making difference it's not really there. So. A bit disappointing for PUBG, but that is also running on the Unreal Engine. So, overall this few little tests have definitely convinced me of dual channeling in the future, as opposed to having one big single stick of RAM. It seems to be definitely worthwhile having two smaller ones in dual channel. So, overall, I'm pretty happy with the test, and I'll catch you later.